Cutting up gang, cutting up gang. I'm about to tell y'all how to become a bar. Yeah. First 48. Boy, been killing all of them haircuts. Back to back, 30 minutes, appointment time. You see me yeah. spinning. Top off, you see me winning. Everything better with a KP twin. I'm a master barber, a professional barber. You gotta get your license cutting up, gang, man. Look, you, you can cut with no license, but it's a lot that go into it that you don't really wanna, you know what I'm saying, dig yourself in like that, you feel me? Especially like, I'm talking to the, to the ones fresh out of high school, you feel me? To the ones who, who really just, trying to find their career, find their sales, and try to find what's, what's grounded with them. You feel me? So, I say all of that to say this, cutting up, gang. Each state is different. It varies. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Michigan's Barber Law, but Michigan Barber Law is pretty identical to the other states. I mean... For example, it's not the exact same law, but you could check the law that you have a question about in Michigan and, and look it up on your state to see if it applies to you, you feel me? But here in Michigan, in order to become a barber cutting up game, you gotta enroll into barber school. That's number one. Can't just go in the shop, start cutting up, you feel me? You gotta enroll into barber school and once you enroll into barber school you got to complete 1800 hours and how that work is once you enroll right and you and all the paperwork is completed they're gonna give you a punch in card that you punch in and you punch out and once you punch in that's when your time start. And once you punch out, that's when your time ended until you punch back in. And that took me a little over two years to complete cutting up gang. So let's say if you fresh out of high school, that's the best way to do it. If you fresh out of high school and you go to barber school that, that summer, if you one of them, you will complete it. You know what I'm saying? By 21 for sure. And you could complete it a lot faster than a little over two years, but the way how I did it is um, you, could, you could for sure complete it in uh, less than two years um, by staying all day. So let's say if you in the AM class and if the school allowed, Michigan Barber School allowed, that you could stay all day and double your hours that way. Um, in the beginning of barber school, you can't do that though you gotta kind of stay in the books and or in the basement that's how michigan barber school was you had to go in the basement and pretty much be in the books for three months and before you hopped on the floor so that's one requirement cutting a game you gotta complete at least 1800 hours of punching in and punching out so bam that's completed right and in the midst of that being completed, what you will be learning is um, barber tools, barber safety, barber chemicals, chemical relaxing, uh, haircuts, women haircuts, uh, shampooing, uh, hair coloring, to go on and on. So you will be learning all of that cutting up hands. So you could never pick up a clipper and enroll into barber school and by the end of the end of your your 1800 hours you're gonna be pretty much ready to be at a shop if that's what you choose to do you feel me so i say all of that to say after your 1800 hours is complete that's not it cut no game then you got to do a board prep presentation now with a board prep presentation is it changed since COVID. Now, um, I gotta tell y'all my experience of board prep, you know what I mean? As far as in another video, cause it's a long story. But in board prep, 
you will have a client with you and you will be performing all other services that you learned in school, excuse me, in front of the board prep people who will be passing you to become a master barber. You feel me? So in board prep, you're going to be doing hair coloring, hair perming, hair cutting, hair shampoo, draping. You feel me? Um, you're going to be doing all of that. So that's the second thing you got to pass in order to become a master barber cutting up gang. Then the third thing is the barber written exam. Now, that's 107 test, multiple choice test question quiz that you got to take, you feel me? And you got to get a 75 or higher in order to pass. And how this work cutting up gang, it's like you in there taking a written exam, you taking a written exam on a on a on a computer. Now in that room, you're gonna be with people taking their license for real estate. It's gonna be people taking their uh, their nursing license. Um, it's gonna be people pretty much is pretty much a place where everybody take their tests to be certified. And I'm um, gonna throw the cosmetologists and the barbers in there. So you, you're not gonna be in there with just barbers. You're gonna be in there with a, a, a mixture of a little bit of everybody trying to be certified heating and cooling people, you feel me? So now on that test, like I said, you got 107 questions, right? You gotta get a 75 or higher, which means you can't get, I believe, like, 15 wrong out of 107 and 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 these test questions is boy is really the lingo you feel me and then let's say you fail how it work if you fail this same with board prep you will have to pay to retake the test so you could fail the test 50 times as long as you pay you can take the test again you know what I'm saying? On the next scheduled appointment day that's available. It might not be the next day, but the next appointment that's available. All they want is the money and for you to be certified. So the only problem is that it, it, it gets it gets expensive because if you fail and fail and fail and fail and fail and, and again cutting up game, let's say you take the written exam test, bam, you fail, right? And you retake it. You're not taking the same test, it's a different one. So they switch the test around. I know that because I failed a few times, but I got my license now. You feel me? So that's why I want to show y'all the journey on how y'all could get y'all license and how how the correct way to do it. You feel me? Cutting up, gang. So bam. The people who fail the written exam, which is pretty much the last step in order to become a barber, fail because they don't really understand what they're reading. Now, of course, we know how to cut hair, do hair, whatever you want to call it, you feel me? But the questions they ask you and how they ask you and the multiple choice answers that they give you might be in a different lingo. And that's the langu language that we supposed to be talking, you feel me? That's, that's, that's the barber talk, you feel me? They, they, they talking stuff like about electricity, uh, uh, density, uh, porosity, hair porosity. They talking about stuff about the ingredients that's in this hair disinfectant spray. You feel me? Stuff like that. Chloride. Uh, they, they, they going in. You feel me? They talking about perms. They talking about hair coloring. So if you're a barber, you don't know that, man, you ain't going to. You need to learn all of them. The, where's the hue? What is the hue? You feel me? Y'all know that's the hair color on it. In in so it's really the terms and the terminology. Y'all know what uh, elasticity is. Elasticity is how long the hair can stretch. And and, and you feel me? And and, and y'all know what porosity is. Porosity is uh, how much moisture can the hair take? Is it porous? Oh, you feel me? So it's like 
It's really langu language, and I, I'm gonna do a whole video on a written exam barber language that y'all must know and learn. You feel me about the melanin pigments, uh, uh, about the nape. Y'all know what the nape is. I know y'all see me in my barber videos. I always refer to the neck as the nape because in the barber written exam, that's what they refers to. So they might say when you're cutting the nape. Do you, you feel me? So you like cutting in the nape? What is a nape? But the nape is called the neck in the barber world. You feel me? So that's how the written exam is. They talking barber talk. You feel me? It's just you and the computer. And I get a lot of comments asking what tools I use to pass, what apps I use to pass. I got a whole video coming to y'all about the apps I use, the tools I use. The videos that I made in the beginning of this channel, those websites, like, you really, you really gotta buckle down. And it's not like when you in barber school, I know how to cut hair. You feel me? It's more like, man, because people ask, like, why am I in barber school? Let me tell y'all how this work, man. Before I start. I gotta let y'all know we all been taught wrong. You feel me? Cutting up gang. Most of us is hustlers, you feel me? Most barbers is hustlers. Even if they not hustlers, they got that hustle mentality. And our hustle mentality is one plus one equals two. You feel me? But that can bite us because in order to adopt not hustle, but to adopt and pay bills the correct way, you're gonna need your license cutting up gang. They gonna wanna know where this money coming from. We was taught shoebox money. We was taught mattress money, how to earn your mattress, uh, take off the sole of the sock, I mean, sole of the shoe, but the, you know what I'm saying? Tuck, 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 tuck. But if you 18 and older and you watching this video, do it the right way, cutting up game, because if you don't do it the right way, that's called money laundering. And I don't want y'all to start a family with money laundering because you pretty much digging yourself in a hole. You're gonna have to prove where this money come from. And in order for that money to be legit, you're gonna have to be a master barber with a license, not just being able to cut hair in the basement. Now, no, just do it the right way, cut no game, because once you do it the right way, it's going to open up doors. You got barbers who work in cut to cut to cut to cut. This is America. In America, out of the whole world, we have credit. So you use that barber license and you go tell that bank teller, bank teller, I got my barber license. I want to open up a business and she going to tell you, do you have an LLC cutting up gang? This is why we going to school, to go to that bank with that paperwork cutting up, gang. Don't be a barber for three to four years without that paperwork because you digging yourself in a hole. You buying Christmas gifts, you buying this, you buying that, you getting this, you getting that, and you ain't got nowhere to prove it. So you try to get you a job, a nine to five, just nah, you working too hard cutting up, gang. Just go to school, do it the right way, Grind, you feel me? Um, shh, you know where diamonds is found in the dirt. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, eh? You gonna get cleaned up at the end, but man, you gotta, you gotta go through it. You feel me? Cutting up gang, you gotta go through it. Unfortunately, to be a master barber, and uh, how it works after you complete your license. This is why I want y'all to get y'all license cut another game. All as far as Michigan, all you got, all I gotta do is pay fifty dollars every two years to keep my license. Man, what? And I'm not money laundering. And so as long as I'm healthy, as long as I'm I'm safe, I'm physically fit, I could be able to put hair on the floor and make money legally. And then you put that in the ATM and show it's your LLC and we, man, not including the barbers and all of the other people who you can hire and help out because 
ain't nothing better than going to a place and everybody can cut where it don't matter the client sitting in your chair, his chair, their chair, it don't even matter as long as you just, that's like the best feeling for a client. If he could go to anybody chair in your shop, let's say he got 10 chairs deep, man, I ain't gonna even, these is different videos I'm talking about in the future that I don't really want to dig into, but I'm just trying to give y'all a little piece, you feel me, cutting the game, how this barber life really go down. You feel me, man, so them license is like, everything and, and y'all talking to somebody who it's kind of like I, i'm gonna do a whole separate video on barber license and why it's so important because i see videos about barber so much barber license uh important or not yeah i'm telling y'all from a real one barber licenses everything you literally on another level like how I feel without your license is the feeling of you driving without your driver's license and you always looking over your shoulder. You feel me? Because state board could come. And unfortunately that'll shut up, shut down not just you, but everything else. And cause a whole nother situation like who feel like going to court, man? Who feel like doing this and who feel like doing that? And at least just trying to put hair on the floor and, 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 and keep it moving, you feel me? So for sure, for sure, cutting up game. The barber license is everything. I'm making this video for barber students, inspiring barbers who thinking about giving up and oh man, why am I going to school? This is why you're going to school. I got a whole nother video that's gonna probably drop either this week or next week. I don't know when I'm gonna drop it about what to do the same day you get your barber license, where to go, what to do, and how to move, and how to, man, yeah, and then, uh, we just, just gonna keep going up from here, you feel me, like, I'm trying to say a lot without saying a lot, so, but, barber license is everything, you just feel free, you ain't no looking over the shoulders, when you go to the bank, you feel good depositing, or, you know what I'm saying, feel good. When you go to the store using your business card or your, your personal card, it's like, it's just a whole different vibe. If y'all like videos like this, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And if I don't see y'all a little later, then I'ma for sure see y'all again tomorrow. Okay, cut yeah. no game. Yeah. First 48. Yeah, I say, yeah, that's my line.